Good morning. It is the winter solstice up here in the Arctic Circle, and that means that we have not seen the sun for three weeks. I'm traveling to a community called Kugruk today for work, and I'm gonna take you guys with me and take you on a little bit of a tour and also show you a little bit what it's like when the sun does not rise at all throughout the day up here in the Arctic in the winter. Okay, I made it into beautiful Kugaruk. As you can see, it's still dark out. It's about 12.30. I almost got a chance to see the sun while we were up at 20,000 feet on the flight over, but not quite. It was like, just wanted to peek over the horizon, but did not. But it's the winter solstice, so what can you expect? We're up in the Arctic Circle. I gotta go work now, so I'm gonna do that, but I definitely will take you guys for a little tour around town before I leave, um, so yeah. It is lunchtime out here in Kuguru, and you can see how much light there is. Because we're a little bit farther to the east, even in this time zone, we are actually a little bit past the peak light in the day, but I mean, this is pretty representative of, of about the maximum amount of light that you're gonna get at any point throughout the day at this time of year. Light just took off, actually. Something interesting about Kuguru is that the runway runs right next to town. So as you're flying in, you can see all the houses. You're flying past all the houses, and I don't know if you can still hear or see but a flight just took off right overhead, which is kind of cool. I'm pretty much done everything that I need to do today for work, so I'm flying out this afternoon. I'm just taking my lunch break right now and uh, check in on a few more things before I head out. It's a really interesting community. There's about eight or 900 people that live here, maybe 800, super small, really beautiful terrain. Really nice and hilly, really, really friendly, beautiful place. There's lots of like interesting hunting to do around here. There's lots of whaling and stuff that they do in the summer. And yeah, I mean, it's just a beautiful, like really beautiful part of the world. And I'm fortunate enough to come here for work often enough. There's not a breath of wind and you can hear the ice cracking. I have to say that it's minus 38 Celsius right now. Pretty cold. Right now at about the highest point in town, here's the new school. Unfortunately, the school here burned down a couple of years ago, but that's the new one. Fantastic facility. Over here is the river. So there's a river that comes down kind of from, there's a bit of a plateau just past the hills over that way, comes down and empties out into the ocean over here. The river kind of forms the boundary of one side of town, and then the runway is on the opposite side of town. You'll see the planes fly up that way. And yeah, I mean, not much more to it. Right here, actually, they're building a new Northern store. Northern, The Northern store and the co-op are the two stores that are in any of these communities. This community only has a co-op. So the Northern is coming along. There's gonna be a bit of competition, finally. Like I said, really small, little, neat little community. Wonderful, wonderful people. And yeah, I thought I'd just give you a little tour around while I'm on my lunch break here, before I fly back out, back home to Cambridge Bay. So 
here's a little window into traveling in the Arctic for you guys. So my flight out of Kougarouk back to Cambridge Bay is delayed by three hours. Not a big deal. Like this thing happens very frequently up here in the Arctic. It's delayed because the plane broke down. So not because of weather or any kind of other delays for the day. It just broke down the plane. <laughs> so we, we call that going mechanical. So the plane went mechanical. They had some unscheduled maintenance and uh, they had to fix it. And then now they're flying up here three, three hours late. Honestly, at this point, like it hasn't even left Yellowknife. It's part of the milk run that goes through these little communities in this region. And Yellowknife is like where it starts from. So it hasn't even left where it starts from. So there is a chance that they just can't get the issue sorted out or something else goes wrong and it's just totally canceled today. And then there's a snowstorm tomorrow. So if there's a snowstorm and they can't get into the community, then I'm here for another day. So this is just sort of like very standard stuff in the Arctic, especially in the winter. You got to deal with these kind of delays. Right now, everyone down south is experiencing like a ton of really shitty delays around Christmas, which is unfortunate. I'm also kind of like, yeah, I mean, like that's just sort of life. Like we up here, we get used to it. <laughs> unfortunately, people down south are not super used to it and it is very much a pain in the butt. But if I end up getting stranded here and uh, am here through Christmas, then hey, you know what? That's just life up in the Arctic. So it is what it is. I made it home, so that is it. That's all, folks. Happy holidays, everyone, and we will see you in the new year. Uh -huh.